And you can see that over 50%, this is mind blowing to me, over 50% of packages the, in, in the top thousand most popular PHP packages, they still support a version under 8.2. I was actually surprised to, uh, let's see here. So so these stats, right? Um, 8.4 has pretty slow adoption, honestly. If we if we look at the, the first five months, because we don't have any data here, that's 13%, uh, 13% right? If we go to last year in May, 8.3 had 16%. If we go last year, uh, year May, 8.2 had 15 And then... A little bit back, 8 at 1 had 21%. Enter username says, I think the stats are misleading. I usually update my packages later to support older PHP versions, while I update my applications immediately. Uh, but this is, this is interesting, right? Because by not upgrading packages, you're forcing projects who are relying on your packages to keep using older PHP versions, right? Now with minor versions, that likely isn't that big an issue because they don't, well, they do have breaking changes, but minor versions, they, um, I assume your package just says like support for 8.4 and then everything above. So, or 8.2 maybe, and then 8.4 also works. So um, I would say it's it's makes more sense the other way around for packages to first have support for 8.4. And then the projects will follow, and that's why I am a, a like a fan of of a very strict versioning strategy where your packages only support the latest major, basically. Yeah, so I uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's it stands out to me. It's definitely like relatively, it's it's different compared to other other years. I like P three eight four. Let me just. Say that up front. Property hooks, asymmetric visibility, boy. And what else uh, is worth mentioning? Property hooks. Oh yeah, new we are new without parentheses. Oh, I use this now all the time. Cannot do without anymore. Asymmetric visibility is it is pretty cool. Um, and don't have that many use cases for it, but it is it is pretty nice. And array find, yeah, that's that's not super interesting. Um, implicit notable types was a really good change. I, I did run into that quite a lot, um, but this is a good change. And then new HTML5 support. Fortunately, with Tempest, we wanted to switch to this um, to this this new HTML parser, and then we realized that it's so strict. It just follows the spec, right? But it's it actually works <laughs> as it, as intended. And uh, our syntax isn't compatible with, well, uh, not 100% compatible with the HTML5 spec. So I had to do what a programmer has to do. And I wrote my own HTML parser. But that's a story for another day. Um, oh, lazy objects also, like, I mean, 8 of 4, it was a really, really good release. The problem is that I cannot switch to the newest PHP for features in my packages because that exclude all other versions Im immediately. So, but um, enter username, um, <laughs> whoever you are. I, I think uh, you're you're highlighting a very um, important point, but I, I I have the completely opposite opinion here, and we can we can. Uh, uh, disagree, of course, but I have maintained quite a lot of, of open source packages when I worked at Spassi and I'm working on Tempest, which is a big open source project. And I really believe, and this is what I mentioned earlier, um, I, I really believe that you packages, they should push forward. They should um, only support the latest uh, major version and n nothing else. And if all PHP packages were doing this, we would pushing we would, would would like push the community forward, right? And I think that's a really good thing because like old projects, right? Because you get the argument that um, uh, like old projects then cannot update anymore, and and you're being way too strict. But that's not entirely true. Like old projects can still use your package, just not the latest version. 
with every update, you get a little more performance because performance is always increasing, right? Security, previous major version also still gets security updates, but, but you're still like lacking a little bit behind. Why not just push people forward? You need to update at some point anyway, or you don't, that's, that's <laughs> your, whatever you want, of course, but you need to update at some point. Why um, like postpone the inevitable? And I think that packages and package authors, they, they play a crucial role in this. And that I, I like I really believe I believe this, but I, I think the, the the PHP community would be better off if more package authors would push towards a like only the latest release. Adrian is, is saying here also would be worth grabbing all composer JSON files from GitHub and check supported PHP versions and try to classify each project. This is exactly what I do. Adrian, not all PHP uh, projects because that's too many, but um, I do this twice a year. I, I write this version stats blog post and I look at, at this graph, right? Um, but I also, uh, let's scroll down a bit. I also download the top thousand most popular composer packages, right? And then I parse their um, composer, composer JSON file and look, oh, look for like the minimum required version, right? Um, and then I put it into this graph over here. And you can see that over 50%, this is mind blowing to me, over 50% of packages, the, in, in the top thousand most popular PHP packages, they still support a version under 8.2. Now, to be clear, 8.3, I think I'm right. Right, so 8.1 8 and 8.2, they still have security fixes, right? Only 8.3 and 8.4, are actively supported. So not just security fixes, but also um, uh, like uh, bug fixes, right? And over half of the top thousand most popular packages, they still support, like not, not just half, but like if we, if we only count from 8.1 as actively supported, right? Which is like, in, in my opinion, already a bit uh, overkill because I would only count from 8.3, but Anyway, that's, uh, let's see here. That's, that's what, 60%? Is that correct? Yeah, 60%, 70%, something like that. That's mind blowing to me. Imagine if all of these packages would just push and update to the latest PHP version. And yes, people could still use um, these packages in older projects because they can use older versions of the same package. That's why we have versioning. This this over here is like a very big, well, I would say problem for PHP, but in, in, this happens in all languages, of course, like people don't update. <laughs> that's, that's, but but yeah, we would be in, a, in such a better place if we would just push forward. You could say, yeah, but I have a big project and it's difficult to update. You're just avoiding the inevitable because at some point you will have to upgrade and it will take time and it is part of your job. And I think that like your clients should pay for it. I mean, it's, it's, it requires time, but it's necessary for performance, for security, and then kind of also for your own well-being because you can use uh, more modern PHP features. But why do we need to increase PHP version requirement if package contains no logic or only some very simple classes or function? This is a good question, um, Smith, who's asking it on, on YouTube. Why should we push minimum version requirements for our packages when um, there are no changes, when they still work fine on older PHP versions? Because that way, as package maintainers, as open source maintainers, we take part of our responsibility to push the community forward. And again, I'm, I'm circling back to the things I've said before, three points, three reasons why you need to do this. Security is the, the most important one and security is something that all companies understand. Performance is the second one, which I reckon many companies will also understand and clients, of course. Um, it like If you can run the same application on one server instead of two, then you decrease costs, basically. So it's it's a good argument to make. And then the third one is for the well-being of your developers, right? Um, if they can use more modern PHP features, they will be more happy. Um, at least I am. I don't know. Maybe maybe there are some people who just like that 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 pain, that that raw PHP 5.6 experience. That's fine as well. You do you. I don't judge. But um, the other two points still stand: performance and security. And 
yeah, I, I think all of us have um, a responsibility here and package maintainers especially should push forward, even if there are no changes at all. When PHP 8.5 releases, you just, two months, you wait two months, of course, just give it some time to like get to 8.5.1 version, right? Or 8.5.2 even. Uh, and then you just bump the minimum version. And you, you know, just do it. Uh, Adrian makes another good point. In CI, <laughs> you need to run another thing to test the old version. I'm laughing because like, <laughs> maybe not everyone is running CI on all versions. I doubt actually most packages do, but, but still, yeah. So um, it's a fourth good argument, like less things to worry about in CI. So, I mean, maybe you can make an environmental impact argument here. Um, I know Rasmus did at one point, like with the upgrade to PHP 7. Uh, he he literally said, like, it's twice as fast. You can uh, remove half of your servers and, and do the same thing. So as a package developer, I don't like to push people, enter username says. I think supporting the actively supported PHP release is best. Yes, but I, uh, that's what I was saying, right? Well, I'm I'm a little strict. I'm saying the latest major release. You're saying actively supported. So you're saying, okay, 8.1. While I'm more strict, I'm with you there, but we're not doing that. No, because look at this graph over here. There is like all of this 60% of packages aren't doing that. So while I'll, I'll like, I'm with you there, not entirely, but fair enough. If that's what you want to do as a package developer, then fine. But then instead of supporting the latest version, you, you start dropping support for major versions when they go out of, of security fixes only. And people also don't do that. Is that 60% just showing the packages that are outdated as, they, as in they have they been abandoned? Mar, uh, let me tell you, these are, uh, this data comes from the top thousand most popular packages on packages. So the most um, downloaded packages on packages and packages, uh, if memory serves me right, has this um, very interesting way of, of marking packages as most popular because it's not just all-time most downloaded ones uh, because there are some outdated there, but packages filters them out because they sort on like most downloads in the last year or something like that. Actually, we can we can go to packages. Look, yeah, well, you can already see it here, right? Uh, the, the most popular one has this many downloads while the second one has a lot more, but part of those downloads happened too long ago. And so they packages sorts differently. So this, this data here are definitely like most popular ones, uh, like according to packages, so active packages. Just updated the project from 7.2 to 8.4 that used an old framework. Surprisingly, the project worked with minimal change. And this is a good point because Upgrading PHP isn't all that hard. And uh, we even have tools to automate it if you want to. Things like Rector, uh, Rector, of course. And then there is uh, PHP CS Fixer, which um, doesn't go as far as Rector to actually change like big parts of your code, but it does allow you to easy change um, syntax. Like for example, long array syntax is short array syntax or uh, typed properties with dog blocks. We're talking like 10 years ago, but type type dog block properties to proper type properties. It doesn't require all that big an effort to update PHP versions. So really, there, there really aren't that many arguments to make to not do this. So everyone who's watching, who's um, who has packages, I really want to encourage you to, to think about maybe pushing a bit more towards modern PHP. And remember that your old versions are still available. So people will still be able to use your your package on all their versions. They just won't be able to like get the latest and greatest. And isn't that like a fair thing to say? Like you want the latest and greatest, you make sure you're you're on the latest PHP version. Isn't that like a good compromise? I find that a pretty good compromise. If you're uh, if you're watching on YouTube afterwards by the way, um, do leave your thoughts. What do you think uh, is like the best approach here. Am I making uh, like no sense at all? Let me know in the comments. Give the video a downvote. Be angry if you want to. Or 
you know, share your constructive feedback. That's that's fine as well. Uh, I really think we should be better here. And um, yeah, I uh, I hope I hope we can. And I hope that some of the the top thousand package authors are are watching this, and that they say like, okay, hey, um, Brent, you make a good point. I'll uh, I'll make that update to my composer JSON file, and I push it, and I'll tag it. And it can be it can be a major version if you want to. I believe it should be a patch version, but uh, extremes. I get it. I get it. I would do like only support PHP 8.04 uh, as a patch version in your package. But okay. You do what you feel like most comfortable with, but, but please think about this. Let us help move the, the community forward. I feel like there should be some some like dramatic music when I'm editing this video. Just know to myself, dramatic music. Yeah, like small zoom in. Let's make let's make PHP even better. It is it is really good. It's in a really good place. Let's work together to make it even better. Okay. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you uh, see you in the next one.